in the metal squadron taking a look at the april gold futures contract which followed through on yesterday's post fomc move running to a new all-time record high pulling back quite substantially but still ending up with a positive close but short of a record high close on the high today $2,225.30. Again, that's a new all-time high for gold futures. That was up 1.51%. The low, 21.70.80. Nothing to sneeze at. Down only about a quarter of a percent. And we finished the day up almost, well, a little bit over 1%. Now, on a weekly basis, gold is still working on a positive finish, up a little bit over 1%. But the pullback has been dramatic, considering that at its peak, Gold was up 2.95% on the week. The FOMC aftermath, the probability of three rate cuts in 2024 increased post FOMC meeting only by a couple basis points, but still it increased. And the FOMC raised its growth estimates in the US, lowered its unemployment estimates and raised its core PCE estimates, which in theory should at least uh, equal steady monetary policy. In fact, right now, it does equal a Fed that expects a slightly stronger economy based on those statements I just told you. So based on that, gold should be stronger. A stronger economy would likely mean higher inflation. And if the Fed does not react to that, and they don't seem prepared to react to that, gold is an asset and assets rally during inflationary periods, just like any other asset until the Fed steps in. So keep an eye on that if we in fact get stronger inflation. Yields after yesterday's drop have stabilized near yesterday's closing levels, but the dollar, which gapped lower today, ended up moving higher and creating a technical pattern that estimates that it should point even higher tomorrow. So we had some dollar strength today, and that's likely why gold came off of those highs, yet still finished positive.